for you said, I will surely prosper you. Genesis 32, verse 12. When Jacob was on the other side of the brook Jabbok, and Esau was coming with armed men, he earnestly sought God's protection, and as a master reason, he pleaded, For you said, I will surely prosper you. Oh, the force of that plea! He was holding God to his word. You said! The attribute of God's faithfulness is a splendid horn of the altar to lay hold upon, but the promise which has in it the attribute and something more is a yet mightier holdfast. For you said, I will surely prosper you. And has he said, and shall he not do it? Let God be true and every man a liar. Shall he not be true? Shall he not keep his word? Shall not every word that comes out of his lips stand fast and be fulfilled? Solomon, at the opening of the temple, used the same mighty plea. He pleaded with God to remember the word which he had spoken to his father David and to bless that place. When a man gives a promissory note, his honor is engaged. He signs his hand and he must discharge it when the due time comes or else he loses credit. It shall never be said that God dishonors his bills. The credit of the Most High never was impeached and never shall be. He is punctual to the moment. He never is before his time, but he never is behind it. Search God's word through and compare it with the experience of God's people, and you shall find the two tally from the first to the last. Many an ancient patriarch has said with Joshua, not one word of all the good words which the Lord your God spoke concerning you has failed. All have been fulfilled for you. Not one of them has failed. If you have a divine promise, you need not plead it with an if. You may urge it with certainty. The Lord meant to fulfill the promise or he would not have given it. God does not give his word merely to quiet us and to keep us hopeful for a while with the intention of putting us off at last, but when he speaks, it is because he means to do what he has said. For you said, I will surely prosper you. Genesis 32, verse 12.